The first thing is that BX Bullet has got the absolute worst case of main character syndrome that I've ever seen in perhaps one of the greatest examples of cope that I've ever seen. Does this sound like a sane woman? Does this <laughs> sound like a woman who's got her head together? I can't believe I'm reading this. I can't believe I'm reading this. She doesn't have any principles whatsoever. Yes, because it's a fake account and you're an idiot. But she's so dishonest. She's such a liar. She's a hypocrite, okay? I'm not a son of portents. No way. She is popping off. You really think you're more important than you are. You really oh. think you this. She actually went to her community and her Discord and told what? them to mass report me on Twitch. What? Guys, what is the BX bullet drama of the YouTube ban and the tipster beef, the YouTube commentary beef, okay? This drama inter interweaves two different narratives happening at the same time. And I'm going to try and lay it all out for you. This drama essentially centers around this video, okay? Which we are going to watch at some point, but after I've done the main coverage, okay? The truth about mass shootings in America. I tell you what, guys, you know you're onto a winner when your video is called The Truth About Mass Shootings in America. Hmm, I wonder what this could be all about. Time to wake up. Hmm. Now, this was published on the 8th of September, okay? And as you can see, this is on Rumble. She also posted the video, this video, onto YouTube. But let's just say YouTube were not particularly fond of the content, okay? Now, initially what happened when BX Bullet originally uploaded this video to YouTube is YouTube demonetized her entire channel. <laughs> so you can see here, September the 8th, YouTube demonetized her entire channel because of this video that she uploaded to YouTube. Now look, I've got some criticisms of YouTube, okay? I think YouTube can really suck sometimes when it comes to like looking at content and monetizing stuff and banning people and all this kind of stuff, right? But it does kind of make me question, what sort of content are you have you got on this video that is when you upload it to YouTube, they're like, no, we're not having any of this. We're going to demonetize you for this one. Okay. So in any case, she got demonetized on YouTube. Um, and you can see, she says here, I've been demonetized and removed from the YouTube partner program for a factually accurate, non glorifying and extremely well researched documentary. Okay. Of the Highland Park shooting. So I just lost my revenue to continue the project. It's like being at the butt of a morbid joke. Almost like YouTube could be taking action against the actual murderers waving guns around and talking about killing people in music videos. <laughs> okay. And inciting people to commit crime instead of investigative journalists. But oh, well, sorry, guys. So there's two things here. Okay. The first thing is that BX Bullet has got the absolute worst case of main character syndrome that I've ever seen, ever, in like the online space. Everything is about her. Everything is about the campaign she's on. Everything is about the crusade she's currently on, right? So I don't know if I actually put them into the, the um, list here, but she's got tweets complaining about the fact that people weren't willing to talk about this and weren't willing to cover it and she'd messaged people. She does this thing where when she's on some sort of crusade, she will message as many creators as she can that she's on friendly terms with in order to try and get them to like cover whatever it is she's talking about. And you saw it happen with Destiny when the DMs got leaked. She was pestering Destiny about whatever drama it was at the time that she was dealing with to try and get him to cover it, you know? And the other thing you'll note as well is this phrase here. She did that to me with the Matt Brockett stuff. Yes, exactly. She just badges people to get them to cover it. Notice this. Investigative journalists. So that's right. She considers herself an investigative journalist. But in any case, you can see here, she gets demonetized because she uploaded this video. Hmm. Anyway, so you can see here YouTube actually responded to her, okay? 
pretty reasonable, I'd say, in terms of the way YouTube operate. Um, this was posted at 4.32 a.m. my time. So like 10 in the... Well, it was like um, just before midnight, Eastern. And they replied here at, um, an hour later. So I think that's a pretty good turnaround. Yeah, I guess for, uh, that's a list of things she is. One of her many jobs. Content that doesn't comply with our ad-friendly guidelines can't monetize and can sometimes result in being removed from the program. But you might be able to appeal or reapply in 30 days. So she appeals... And then the appeal gets rejected, and she says about it here. Well, YouTube rejected my appeal, and now I have to go compile data for another random mass killing by another shitty rapper. I, I don't know what this is about, this rapper thing and the music thing. This makes three in one year. Daryl Brooks Jr., Wakresha Parade, Robert Cremo, Highland Park, Isaacil Kelly, Memphis... So is is she set, so a rapper's doing mass killings? Is that what's going on? I mean, I don't know. Are these people black? Is that is that another aspect to this? I don't, I, listen, I don't make too many conclusions. Okay. Anyway, so she um put this out about the appeal being rejected. Okay. And then YouTube responded once again after a thorough review from our team. Unfortunately, your video will not be reinstated. We know this was not the outcome you expected. But please review our community guidelines to avoid this in the future. Let me know if there's anything else we can help with. So, yeah. And you'll notice here what's interesting about this. The video that was targeted here. Violented criminal organizations. That's the policy which, which she broke, apparently. Right? Now, YouTube have helpfully put in here the policy. Content intended to praise, promote, and or aid violent criminal organizations is not allowed on YouTube. Now, look, I don't know what the video is about, but to be honest with you, I am kind of hard-pressed to understand what she would have had in the video that would have been promoting these organizations. So I'm not sure exactly what it was. Um, like I say, you know, we're going to get to the video shortly. So, yeah, this is, I mean, you know, I'll link it in chat if you want to have a little look through and see what's going on. But, yeah, that's that's the policy with which they said that she broke. So, my guess is that BX Bullet probably had something in there that she didn't realize would be a breach of this policy, but it was, right? That's what I'd presume it was. She probably made some error somewhere and ended up putting something in which was a breach of TOS, but it probably wasn't like a malicious or an intentional thing. That would be my best guess, okay? But anyway... So YouTube decide to demonetize the channel, okay? Now, this is where... Now, she's obviously under a lot of pressure with this YouTube shit, okay? I get it. I've had my YouTube channel demonetized, okay? This is where the second part of the narrative starts to interweave, okay? So BX Bullet starts spurging out on Twitter because apparently she's getting harassed by someone, by someone called Tipster, who may, many of you probably know, is like a YouTube commentary person, okay? So, this 120,000 subscriber YouTube channel reported me while also breaking... I don't, know the, I don't know where the reporting me thing came from. She's saying that Tipster reported him. But anyway, there's a bit more to this, which we'll see in a sec, okay? Yeah, Tipster's in chat, yeah. Um, reported me while also breaking YouTube community guidelines by sexually harassing me. Mystery solved. People share this so people know who the enemies of freedom are. And then she ats YouTube. At YouTube creators, at YouTube. Is this how you treat your female creators? This is a very classic thing that BX Bullet will do. Is she will complain about how she's treated by like YouTube. And then she'll do something to invoke that against oh, another person. Nation. Hannah thing gifted a tier one sub to She does it all the fucking time. Thank you for the sub. Subs in the channel. She did this with Mr. Girl as well. She'll go on about, oh, YouTube's so bad, they treat me so badly. And then she'll try and target that as someone else. Absolute fucking Karen shit. Unbelievable. Oh, yeah, tip stuff. I've got it all here, hopefully. Well, I've got most of it. If there's anything I've missed, you can pop something, let me know. So anyway... So she's saying here that this is Tipster sexually harassing her. Let's read the tweets. 
God, you were even more annoying than I thought. Glorifying shootings in attempt to make money so you can buy stripper outfits for men to jack off to. What a dork, lol. I disavow. As soon as this series goes live, I'll be asking people to flag this shit down. Absolutely pathetic. Now, this looks pretty bad. A big commentary YouTuber, right? Saying, I'm going to flag your shit down. But wait, there's a problem. I'd like to direct your attention to the name of this account. So, this account is I'm Just So Tippy, okay? Now, just to let you know, for those of you that aren't aware, this is not the Twitter account of Tipster, prominent YouTube commentary community person, okay? This is a fake Tipster account, right? This is the actual account of one tipster. You notice here the name Just So Tippy, not as suggested here by BX Bullet. I'm Just So Tippy. So she has fallen for a fake account, right? And is now trying to get, because obviously this person is, is faking being tipster, is trying to get tips to fuck with on YouTube because of some fake account is fucking with her. Is the dumbest styrofoam packing peanut. Thank you for the bits. What? And she's supposed to be this like super smart private investigator, investigative journalist, right? She calls herself an investigative journalist. She can't even investigate someone's Twitter app to make sure it's the right account. Oh my God, it's unbelievable how stupid this person is. And she calls herself like a private investigator, investigative journalist. Just look at the at. Just look at the at and you'll see it's not actually tipster. Anyway, Nicholas de Oreo pointed this out, okay. <clears throat> BX Bullet Genius gets baited by a parody account on Twitter again and implies tip tipster is a creep who only chats with kids. She's now tagging YouTube and trying to get him banned. So anyway, I'll look at that in a sec. This is the original tweet here. And then these are the fake tweets, okay? Now, following this, BX Bullet engages in perhaps one of the greatest examples of cope that I've ever seen in my entire life, okay? So you note here, she says... This 120,000 subscriber YouTube channel reported me while also breaking YouTube community guidelines by sexually harassing me. So this is what she claims in the original tweet. And then she tweets this out. By the way, I'm fully aware he is going to say that's a fake account, lol, and then use that to try and troll me on his main account. Welcome to Chud Nation. Because as a 30-year-old man who hangs out with 15-year-old boys like a creep. What on earth is she talking about? You thought this was Tipster's real account because you're a fucking moron. You didn't actually check the app and double check to make sure it was definitely him saying this crazy shit. Okay. You look like an idiot and your cope is to go, oh, well, he's going to say it's a fake account so he can troll me. Tipster's not, to my knowledge, done anything to BX Bullet at this point, right? B BX Bullet has been bamboozled by a fake account. She's gone off like full ham on Tipster. Tipster's like, what the fuck's going on? You know? And now she's saying, oh, this he's going to just say it's a fake. Yes, because it's a fake account and you're an idiot. How is this trolling? You went super hard at Tipster for no reason off the back of a fake account. And yet also Tipster's reported on that drama she had before with that, that weird guy that took a picture of her kid. Just the most absurd cope I've seen in a while. It's crazy. He and his drama tube buddies obviously make fake accounts of each other. What? He and his drama bud tube buddies obviously make fake accounts of each other and use them to harass other creators. And then when the creators respond, they make 30 minute YouTube videos calling them stupid for forwarding a fake account. Yes, really. Do you know what would be good? Is some evidence of this, please. I'd like some evidence of that, that this is happening. This is absolutely insane. How on earth are you going to make this? This is like a massive claim. 
the idea that YouTube creators are setting up fake accounts to fuck with people so that, the, so that they on their main account can take advantage of the drama that's created. Where's the evidence? That, that's a massive claim that's going to need a lot of evidence to back up. Because here's the thing as well. What's more likely? That a drama YouTube is fucking about on some fake account somewhere. Or some idiot has just made a fake account of their own accord and is just using it to fuck with people. It's so stupid. It's so stupid. And she just doesn't seem to understand that if you make a claim like this, you've got to be able to back it up. You can't just claim people are doing crazy shit. You need to at least have some fucking evidence. Jesus, man. It's fucking insane. But I'm sure it's just a coincidence that I got banned off YouTube 30 minutes after his fake account th threatened to mass report me, right? So I don't know what the reality is with like how she got... Well, this is at this point, she was only demonetized. So I don't know why she's saying banned. I don't know what the reality is of how it is she actually ended up getting banned. Um, sorry, uh, demonetized and who reported on the situation there. But Tipster, at this point, has got nothing to do with anything. Tipster's got literally, he's not even involved in this story. You know, Tipster's off doing his thing. Who knows what he's up to? He's probably just, just chilling. And then all of a sudden, BX Bullet is coming for him for like no reason. So anyway, <clears throat> she then gets into this battle on the, I think this is from the 8th, isn't it? So I, I, this is just a, a side thing here, right? As much as I'd love to keep blocking trolls, I'm at work. I have a full-time job at a pharma company. Well, then do your fucking job. Go and do your job then. Why do you have to tweet out? Oh, I'm going to, I could do this all day, but I've got to work. Just turn your phone off. Just put your phone on one side and go to work. Jesus. Why are you tweeting about this? What's your problem? And I also have to complete chapter three of my video to upload to Rumble. Nothing is going to stop me from finishing this project. So stupid. Anyway. So. Following this, okay, obviously, you know, Tipster responds, some of the other drama YouTubers start talking about it a little bit. Um, but from there, so following all of this happening, right, <laughs> YouTube decide to upgrade a punishment and they move it from a demonetized to banning a channel. <laughs> YouTube... No, it's not funny. I'm against this, okay? I am against this. I don't think... I don't like people's YouTube channels getting... Getting banned, okay? <laughs> but, but she got... The entire channel got disabled. Like, Jesus, man. But yeah, the, ch the channel going is wrong, okay? I, I, d I don't agree on principle with the channel thing. But I think the trouble is, is, I mean, I don't know. I'm going to watch this video that's on Rumble in a bit. We'll see what it's all about. But the problem is, is if you're making videos about mass shootings, right, that is going to be fucking poison to advertiser, to advertiser revenue. So getting demonetized is excessive. But like, you've got to be so careful if you're making videos about mass shootings. And then further to that, if you're making videos about mass shootings, I think you've really got to cross your T's and dot your I's. I think YouTube are going to be very averse to anything about mass shootings that kind of is any in any way conspiratorial or goes against the grain. So the only thing I can think is that a video contains some whack shit that was just, you know, too much for YouTube to be willing to host. Especially when you've had like the Alex Jones controversy. I think that these big tech platforms, except for maybe places like Odyssey and Rumble, who don't care as much and are more free speech focused, I think they're very averse to having content on there which talks about mass shootings in a way that is like, you know, conspiratorial in any aspect, you know? That's, that's my guess on what's happened here. But yeah. I remember when the shooting happened, Google scrubbed everything related to the guy from the website. I think they realized that allowing these shooters to gain fame will have a ripple effect through culture and are now overcorrecting. I think that's probably a pretty good read from CJ Brown. I think that's a pretty good read of what's going on here. I mean, listen, I, I don't, probably don't agree, dependent on the content of the video. I don't think it's right to just eat someone's channel like this. But you've got to be so careful when you're talking about mass shooting stuff. Um, so, yeah, anyway. The thing is, is like, you know, BX Bullet will take something where, like, I would probably just have sympathy if it was just, oh, yeah, my channel got disabled. This really sucks. 
But then she went on the warpath for some reason, okay? So, she challenges YouTube, okay? If you appreciate the fu if you appreciate freedom of information, I suggest you share the fuck out of this. Thank you. Team YouTube should know things are about to get real for them because I'm about to make some noise. Make a note of that, okay? So obviously very concerned with free speech, think YouTube are wrong for doing this sort of thing, okay? We'll come back to that in a sec. What happens then is she starts tweeting out like tips of um, clips of tipster talking about the drama, okay? So let's have a little listen and see what she dug up. I've watched her videos and they're all crazy <laughs> conspiracy theories. Proceeds to paraphrase an ex-member of my community to explain it. Sir, that's slander. Which, by the way, I've seen some of her videos. A lot of it's a conspiracy theory shit. Like, I'm paraphrasing this, but I talked to somebody who was an ex-community of her community. Uh, an ex-member of her community. Man, I can't say words right now. I spoke to someone who was an ex-member of her community. Finally got that out. Okay. Holy shit. Uh, and they were telling me that like she, there's this spree shooter or a mass shooter who she says left behind coded messages that hint to like the uh, impending doom of society. Or I don't. Oh my god, is that true? Okay, listen, <laughs> I'm gonna watch the video and see what it says. Okay, but like, <laughs> what on earth is that real? Is that really in the videos? remember exactly what he said it was some crazy off the wall shit like that's the kind of shit that this <clears throat> bitch believes in she's crazy um schizo time so BX shout out schizo. to all the disinformation agents in the replies and comments on my videos welcome to the channel where we actively fight against accounts like these did you know you can easily spot these accounts by their failure to provide any evidence of damaging claims they make against me in an attempt to suppress our so information I, I basically tip a tips just done a whole stream about this which i will link um, I wanted to try and focus mainly on what BX Bullet had said, just to try and make it, you know, just just to give her side of the story. Although it's not a very it's not a very good story to be fair. But yeah, if you want to see Tipster's coverage of it, I'll link it in in chat. I might watch it after this if I've got time. We'll see it or some of it at least. That's um, part way into it, but you get the gist. Okay, so that was one clip she shared. Um, I mean, that's not slander. How is how is anything that Tipster said there slander? Like, all he said is she does crazy conspiracy videos. I spoke to an ex-member and they said this is the content of the video. That isn't, that's not slander. How is that slander? <laughs> what is she on about? <laughs> Um, everything Tipster said there would be absolutely covered by, you know, I, I can't I can't imagine what lawyer in the land would look at that and go, yep, yeah, that's a slanderous. So we're going to take it. You know, we're going to take legal action on that or some shit. You know, it's insane. Anyway, let's see what the other clips are. And also, can I just point out as well? Right. This is the same person who said that Tipster hangs around with 15 year olds. Do you know what I mean? So it's it's funny, isn't it, how she claims to care about this kind of slander when she was the one that was said about him that he likes to hang out with 15-year-olds. And need I remind you, she did that because a fake account trolled her and she went fucking nuclear on his ass, you know, and basically suggested he was... In fact, I don't think I've got the tweets logged here, but I'm pretty sure there's some tweets where she even goes as far as to call Tipster like a, a, a pedo defender. And like crazy shit like that as well. I haven't got the logs to hand, I don't think. But I'm pretty sure I saw those somewhere. But the point is, is like even, you know, take that with a pinch of salt because I don't have that to show you. But at the very least, she has said that he hangs out with 15-year-olds. And I think we all know what's trying to be said there, right? Anyway, let's see what Tipster says here. So BX Bullet says, 100k plus YouTube channel made videos and tweets about me for days, making false claims like this, causing me to be brigaded by trolls, telling me they were reporting me. But I'm sure that has nothing to do with my ban. That's the kind of shit this bitch believes in. She is crazy. Jesus. Okay, let's have a listen to the clip. 
Plex where she thinks her little irrelevant channel with videos that usually average about 300 views is going to change the world. Which, by the way, I've seen some of her videos. A lot of it's a conspiracy theory shit. Like, I'm paraphrasing this, but I talked Wait, to somebody we've already who seen this. Shooter or a mass shooter. We've seen this already. Pending doom of society. or I don't remember exactly what he said. It was some crazy off the wall shit. Like, that's the kind of shit that this bitch believes in. She's crazy. Um. So, shout out to all the disinformation agents. Oh, we've seen, it. We've seen this already. What's this next clip? I'm willing to bet most of her audience jacks off to her because she's a good looking woman with not a lot of intelligence. I didn't imply she was a whore. I disavow. However, if the shoe fits, lace that bitch up and fucking wear it. Jesus. Because I'm spreading awareness to people. Wait, wait, wait. Sorry, I need to go back to the start. I need all of you to understand Wait, wait, now. wait. Uh, go back. It's there important. Go. This is escalating quickly in the country. I need all of you to understand now uh, is the time to really focus on spreading awareness to people about what's going on with these shootings, this accelerationism with the propagation of disinformation and propaganda, both by the government and by unknown subverse group, subversive groups uh, that is attempting to divide citizens and spiral us into a civil war. Stop debating liberals on the things meant to distract you and start getting people to understand that we share a common enemy. And with the most obvious manifestation of that enemy right now are those who seed fear, distrust, division, and censorship. Shit's getting wild. I need support from you guys. I have sock accounts in my DMs telling me they are going through all sorts of avenues to get me banned because they don't want this getting out. Does this sound like a sane woman? Does this <laughs> sound like a woman who's got her head together? Jesus. Sounds like a woman who needs to be admitted to the local mental institution to me. Oh my God. Jesus what? Christ. <laughs> no way. That is. Oh, I disavow. I disavow. Listen, look, I'm, listen, obviously these comments are obviously, you know, it, it, <laughs> they're not funny. Okay, they're definitely not funny, right? They are insulting. They're very insulting, vitriolic comments, okay? But I would like to point something out, okay? Like BX Bullet has basically called this guy a pedo. Like... This is one of those situations where if you just look at this, it may sound quite extreme what he's saying. But she has gone for him and taken some big swipes at him first, you know? So I'm kind of like, yeah, you fucking reap what you sow. If you're going to insinuate that some guy who has done absolutely nothing to you whatsoever is, an, is a nonce off the back of a fake account trolling you, yeah, you reap what you sow. Deal with it, you know? Now, the thing is, is, yeah, this obviously, is quickly in the there may be people that were reporting and stuff that maybe even are from Tipster's community, but I have seen nothing. I have seen nothing whatsoever. I haven't seen a clip. I haven't seen anything of Tipster calling for her to be deplatformed. You know, I've not seen a single clip of Tipster saying, go and mass report this person. I've not seen a tweet. I've not seen a message. I've seen nothing. We'll come back to that in a sec. What's this clip? Look at, look, adding Twitch, YouTube, and Twitter. This is what she does. She adds the fucking accounts because she wants them to see because she's a fucking loser with no principles whatsoever, right? And when something bad happens to her, she'll do everything she can to get it to happen to other people as well because she's a loser Karen bitch. It's unfucking believable what a hypocrite BX Bullet is. It's literally unbelievable how much of a hypocrite she is. And I've got something else to show you after this, which proves it even more. But let's, before we get to that, let's watch this clip. Get this savior complex where she thinks her little irrelevant channel with videos that usually average about 300 views is going to change the world. Get this savior complex where she thinks her little irrelevant channel with videos that usually oh, average about 300 clip. views is going to change the world. A large channel does nothing but target people for harassment and try to ruin their careers. So a small channel that wants to better the world is irrelevant because it only gets 300 views. Yeah, so what? It's a mean comment. But do you know what else is mean? Saying that someone likes to hang around with 15-year-olds. That's mean too. Anyway. So, there's one th other thing I'm going to show you, okay? <laughs> this is unbelievable. This is absolutely unbelievable, right? Bear in mind, all Tipster's done is report on the drama and made fun of her and mocked her for like a stupid conspiracy stuff, okay? 
This is what BX Bullet decided to do in a Discord. This is insane. This is fucking insane. Hey everyone, I need two things to um, from you to save my channel from being tanked by mass reports from trolls. Share this if you can, a twit longer. Report this asshole tipster's post. Warning for literal fucking brigading! Literal mass reporting! Are you fucking for real? Report this asshole tipster's post where he makes fun of my post saying I'm depressed due to his targeted harassment. Depression isn't a fucking joke and neither is deplatforming me by spreading false information. Tips does not ask for it to be deplatformed anywhere. And then look at this next one. Report this sexist targeted harassment stream he made about me yesterday. I can't believe I'm reading this. I can't believe I'm reading this from her when she's cried so much about getting mass reported, mass flagged and all this stuff from people. And now she's telling her community to do it to Tipster. And Tipster's not even fucking done it to her. It's insane. Where he lied and slandered me to the point that I totally do not feel bad asking you to report this. This is fucking unbelievable. She is the biggest hypocrite I've seen in the entirety of this fucking space. How the fuck are you going to cry about getting mass reported and then, you know, weaponize your audience against another creator and do it to them when they've not even done it to you? Absolutely insane. I am in danger and it's going to get worse. Please help me out or we will be over as a community. Jesus. Her community tab is all cope. Suspended from Twitter after spending all day yesterday being called a dumb bimbo whore by the community. This I disavow. Um, of a rather large drama YouTuber named Tipster. I've been banned from Twitter temporarily due to mass reporting. If this investigation never picks up steam or gets any recognition or I'm permanently removed from the internet, hopefully just banned and not something at worse, remember who the enemies of information are. Here are a few communities currently threatening me and trying to get me banned off every platform. The incel com <laughs> The incel community! <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> Jesus Christ. This is what I mean by main character syndrome. She thinks the incel community are trying to get her banned. <laughs> what on earth is she on about? What the f- What incel community is she on about? Just the, just the entirety of it. All the incels that exist are all trying to come for her or some shit. Like, what is she on about? The TCC, the true crime community, these are the kids who worship the mass shooters and often become one themselves. Tipster on YouTube to be continued. Just to remind everyone, yeah, Tipster's not at any point called for to be deplatformed. He's just made a, a stream. He's, he's, do, he's done some tweets and been mean about her. And he's done a stream and been mean about her too. Which is in response to her basically calling him a pedophile. And that he hangs out with 15 year olds. Insane. Anyway, listen. Is this, you might be thinking, is this fake? Look at this. I'm putting this out and then taking a break for a bit. There's a smear campaign to deplatform me since I've started to release my investigation. Lies and fake screenshots are being used to paint a false narrative. It's not true. Believe me or not, I won't argue about it. And this account, Rocky LPO, says, is this fake? Right? And she responds, the, con <laughs> the context is fake, so yes. What does that even mean? What do you mean the context is fake? What context is there that justifies you calling for the deplatforming of someone? How? So, obviously, yes, this is her admission. She wrote the message. Okay? But she's saying the context is fake. How? There's no context that makes this okay. You're weaponizing your audience to mass report another creator because you have erroneously decided that that creator is mass reporting you for, but he but he isn't there's no evidence you've got of that and this logic here just demonstrates that she doesn't have any principles whatsoever she doesn't have, she doesn't have any principles whatsoever whatsoever this was after i had already been mass reported by his community 
Again, not here to argue or explain. Believe me or I don't. So because she perceives that she's been mass reported by his community, that justifies her to do the same the other way around. Like, this is fucking crazy. This is insanity. And again, no evidence. No evidence whatsoever. Even if Tipster's community had somehow mass reported, Tipster's not called for it. So she is taking worse action because she is directly calling for it and weaponizing her community against Tipster. She's atting everyone in a fucking Discord. Like, Jesus Christ. This is what she's done before. This is a classic strategy that she does. Absolutely classic, classic strategy that she does. She did the same with Mr. Girl, right? She is the biggest snowflake SJW fucking loser going, right? She will weaponize whatever platform she can to fuck with people if she perceives that she's been wronged in some way by them. She did it with Mr. Girl. She did it here with, um, with Tipster. I'm sure there's other examples too. But she's so dishonest. She's such a liar. She's a hypocrite, okay? Now listen... Admittedly, I am quite biased against her, okay? I'm quite biased against her. So, but even this, I think, I'm just going to say, take it with a pinch of salt. I don't have any evidence of it beyond what we're about to see, so do take it with a pinch of salt, okay? But there's an allegation from Hunter Avalone, who also has got no love loss between him and BX Bullet, but there's an allegation that she is engaging in gay ops, Okay? So here's Hans Avalone. Incredibly disturbing stuff. BX Bullet is allegedly reaching out to minors. Allegedly. Allegedly. Reaching out to minors who have asked to debate me and trying to get them to lie about me to smear me as a creep. What the absolute fuck? I've never done anything creepy and this is vile. So this is the first interaction. I don't take calls from anyone younger than 18. Welcome okay, man. Who cares if I'm 14? Penis. I'm mature enough to debate. What do you want to debate? Milianopolis? No, lol. And bear in mind, this is the only, um, it, it, you know, this is all we've got to demonstrate this is a thing. So do take it with a pinch of salt. There's no evidence that I've seen that suggests what this person is saying is, is verifiably true. This is just an allegation that's being thrown about. So take that with a pinch of salt, okay? Hi, Bullet has asked me to go on a stream to talk with, about you and some allegations with an underage guy or something. Do you know what she means? I have no idea what she's talking about and it sounds very shady and creepy, to be honest. Her and a few others seem to be on some mission to go after you. It almost sounds like they want to use me as the kid to pretend you did bad stuff towards me. That's the impression I'm getting. Very weird stuff, man. This kid's older brother also said BX has been in contact with them. Jesus. Is this, is this more of an investigative journalism or something? I don't know. So, yeah, I mean, you know, take from it what you will. Um, you know, so if it is true, it's very fucking odd behavior for BX Bullet. But it is kind of in line with her whole mentality, I think, you know. Um but this, this kind of reads as it seems like BX Bullet has obviously got this beef with Hunter Avalone and wants to dig up some shit to try and take, it, take him down. But yeah, crazy stuff. Anyway, I just wanted to just throw that in there as well as a little bit of extra weirdness that's going on, okay? So, as I say, you know, Hunter Avalone obviously has got beef with uh, BX Bullet. I'm not a big fan of BX Bullet, okay? I, you know, think she's a moron. However, I did find a video from someone that was critical of BX Bullet that I thought might be a bit of a, you know, less biased perspective. Look what I found. This video is called BX Bullet is her own worst enemy. Guess who it is? You never guess who it is. You never guess who it is. It's Tree of Logic. It's Tree of Logic. <laughs> Tree of Logic made a video shitting on BX Bullet. Can you believe it? I've got to see this. Surprise appearance from Tree of Logic. Okay, so some of you are probably wondering, why am I talking about BX Bullet on this particular channel instead of my political channel? Well, for two reasons. 
one i don't want to sully up my political channels yeah yeah you gotta you gotta send a maniac to catch a maniac it's like this is like demolition man sylvester stallone talking about this heifer and two <laughs> wait this is sylvester stallone um and this is the what's the name of that what's the name of the bad guy in it the black guy what's his name it's it's a it's a race swap we've done a little wesley snipes so look, Sylvester Stallone. <laughs> Tree of Logic is Sylvester Stallone. And BX Bullet is Wesley Snipes. So it's Demolition Man, but race swapped. Okay, that's what we're doing. Two, I don't like her. <laughs> there. And uh, since I don't like her, I, I tend to talk about people I don't like on this channel or my original channel, which is Heavenly oh, no. Band. But my um, Okay, so my she doesn't like her, but she is a conservative, okay? So at least there's a political agreement somewhere there. I um most recent uh political channel i just why would i even waste the time to talk about that so you know i'm still filling out this channel and as of right now looks like i'm gonna start doing some response stuff to it and this is one of them to my shock bx got done got herself permanently banned from youtube over some nonsense now now i know she's gonna say I don't understand how she can sit oh here and say that she's un 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 a son of portents. Girl, you really- No way! She is popping off. Oh my God. Take yourself too seriously, really. So anyway, um, me and her have a history. She's a backstabbing person. Okay, uh, okay. She's a backstabbing- Okay. I just want to clear clarify something, okay? Obviously, BX, B, um, BX Bullet and uh, Tree of Logic have got, got beef as well, okay? So, please, do not think... This is not an unbiased voice, okay? Clearly. I made a mistake when I said... I didn't know they had this beef, okay? I mean, BX Bullet is a is an intensely unlikable person. So, I can understand why, like, a lot of people don't like her. But I honestly didn't know that these two had this issue with each other. Seven B word. <laughs> and, uh, yeah, we had some clashes. But I don't like the fact that she got deplatformed. I, no matter how much I don't like you. Hey, principal I, position. Uh, mm, Base. Hold on, let me take that back. Is There gotta be somebody I hate and I would not mind seeing them be deplatformed. Dylan Burns? No, actually, I'm thinking okay. about, I'm, I'm looking at two of my biggest enemies and I don't want them deplatformed. I have a feeling BX, uh, and I hope, you know, I doubt, I don't know if you're gonna see this video because I'm not putting it on my main channel, but um, I, I don't know if you're gonna see this, but I hope you do put some effort in the appeal. Don't talk arrogant, because this is your problem. You really think you're more important than you are. You really oh. think you add all this value to the world. Nobody cares oh. about you, dude, except for your Sims, okay? And Unified, I said earlier about the main character syndrome thing, which is essentially what she's saying, right? This is so true of BX Bullet. She gets on a crusade and thinks she's so important, you know, and she gets on a, gets on a horse and off she rides, expecting like hundreds of people to be behind her. And, and she turns around and no one's there because no one really gives a shit about a stupid thing she's trying to do. And you really think too highly of yourself. <laughs> you and Mr. Girl got that in common. You two act like oh. you are provided all this Mr. wisdom Girl Slander. with your existence and your videos and that you are really making a difference in the world. And dude, y'all just... Hey, thanks for the bits, bro. <laughs> y'all are so delusional. <laughs> Thank you. You're not making a difference in this world. You're just talking and gassing yourself up and smelling your own farts and you're thinking this is like the best perfume ever but anyway let's go into her uh because i've been watching her for a while what happened i think uh something she popped up on my radar last week as a matter of fact because she got two strikes for content that was violent or something like that i think she was trying to talk about um some shooters or something i really don't care so i I'm, I'm probably don't have the full context but she was just going crazy on twitter which is here her twitter account then she locked her twitter account she protected it and now it's back public and this is when i learned that yesterday she had oh her. by the way another thing as well that i didn't notice is she also deactivated a twitter account and then came back i think she said like goodbye goodbye in a tweet and then deleted her twitter account and then reactivated it you know standard standard procedure for uh, schizo women. 
um, channel. It's fine. This band. short video will be fine. And I, I have a feeling that if she appeals humbly, like just come to them in a humble way, you know, explain to them you had good intentions, that you Welcome. had no schizo uh, woman uh, moment. That you were not wow. Six purposely, this uh, being loving, pint you know, wanting to Thanks, Bryce, for this service um, and just. I, I mean, seriously, content. if you come back humble, Thank which you. is very awesome hard for somebody day. like you to do. You'll get your channel back. I promise you, you, you'll get your channel back. But if you come over here and start preaching to these people, when I say these people, I'm talking about YouTube, and you start uh, accusing them of being biased or you're or accusing them of trying to hide things, dude, you're going to be perma banned for a minute. So this is what she said. All I wanted to do with my channel was help improve social society some way. <laughs> Oh. She thinks so highly of herself. Yeah, like, it's true. Her videos are going to improve society. How? 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 Do, how oh my that God! Happen? So base. Her videos are doing nothing to society. BX. That's what I'm saying. Her and Mr. Girl have a lot in common. They really think that they make a difference in the world, and you don't. Nobody knows you outside your oh, little no. circle. Oh no, Mr. Girl got it straight. My channel oh, no. never grew, never made good money because I didn't pander to the right or bow down to the algorithm guard. Wow, you didn't pander to the right. So who did you pander to? To the left? God, I hate this chicken. I was I was under consent. Excuse me, I was under constant attack by large creators, but I held my head high for three years. Wait. So yeah, BX Bullet has got this this I didn't show this tweet, but I did I, you know, wanted to try to just get as much of the main stuff in as I could rather than, you know, going off on tangents. But I did see this tweet and, and yeah, it's like she's got this this combination of main character syndrome, but also this massive victim complex as well. You know, which combines to create one of the most insufferable character traits you've ever seen online. You know, th she thinks she's at the head of this crusade constantly doing all this great work. But the moment something goes wrong or something bad happens to her, she instantaneously becomes the biggest victim. And it's just like, you know, it's so insane to me. It's like, yeah, this is a tough, tough gig, right? Shit gets thrown your way, right? But what's funny about this as well is that like, you know, in the most recent drama, she she never had to have a beef with Tipster. She never had to have a beef with Tipster whatsoever. Tipster was literally nothing to do with any of it. It was some fake troll account that for some reason was giving her shit. And she got sucked in by it. She is. She's a cry bully. She is everything she accuses like the left of being. She is all, she is just as bad as the biggest soy woke scold leftoid you could imagine. She's exactly the same. She's exactly the same. Look at that message that she sent. You know, look at that message that she sent. Report this sexist, targeted harassment stream he made about me. That sounds like a fucking soy leftoid. That's something a soy leftoid would say. Are you serious? <laughs> Jesus Christ, man. <laughs> uh, I, I, I bet you Destiny is in this equation. I bet you Destiny is in it. <laughs> Girl, please. So this is what this is her channel. And uh Well, hopefully she apply. I'm seriously, I don't want her deplatform. I mean. Like I said, I mean, well, hey, BX, I see Mr. Girl is still uh, is still streaming. So <laughs> it looks like you could, I guess, YouTube have relaxed the rules so you could still provide content on another channel. Didn't someone, yeah, basically what happened was there was this, this, uh, there was a small streamer that she was beefing with. Well, okay. Thank Chuck you for the Nation. gifted sub. I appreciate Present it. Gifted a tier one sub to there was this, um, there was a small streamer that she was beefing with. And this streamer was literally like a fucking nutter. Um, basically, he got... Her kid came into the room, I think, in a state of undress. And he got a screenshot of it. And he was threatening to tell Twitch and report it to Twitch and get a channel, like, fucked with and banned and stuff like that. I mean, I don't know what Twitch would do. They probably wouldn't wouldn't ban them for that. That would seem a bit excessive. I mean, if you got a kid, like, you know, yeah, it happens. It's not ideal. But... That's the unfortunate reality of having a kid sometimes. A kid's not going to think, oh, I better not go in the room because they're doing a Twitch stream. But in any case, that was, you know, everyone I know was like super critical of that guy for doing that, you know. Um, but she tried to turn it into this insane crusade. And, and you know, it's, it's like she always does. She gets this little, you know, little piece of meat. 
He gets a little scrap of meat and tries to make out it's like an 18-ounce fillet steak or something like that. And it's like, it's not. It's nothing. Like, yeah, it's bad it happened. And obviously report it and stuff. But stop trying to turn it into some fucking crusade. It's insane. But it's like, constantly she does this. Constantly she does this, you know. She's absolutely desperate for that big story. And, and here's the thing as well, right? Yes, yeah, sometimes you might need to network a bit and get your work out there for people to see it, right? But if you genuinely had some real cutting edge, massive story to break, right? And you put it out there and you told a couple of the right people, right? Word's going to get out. Because the thing is, there's a difference between badgering someone constantly with whatever fresh story you've got. Please look at this. Please look at this. Please look at this. Versus sending like a targeted message and going... Hey, listen, I don't like to do this normally, but I've got this thing here. My channel's small, but I think it's actually quite a good story. Would you mind just taking a look at it, maybe reacting to it on stream or something like that, you know? Something like that can actually help you get the word out because people will look at it. And if it's good, and if there's some meat on the bone, and if it's interesting, generally people are going to watch it and people are going to engage with it. People always want content to react to and watch on stream or to share or to put out there. But a problem is, is everything, you know, is this is so important. You've got to get this out there. And I've seen the messages. I saw the messages between her and Destiny. Um, I'm sure that there's other creators that could attest to this too if I went to them. But yeah, people she's on kind of friendly terms with, she'll just badger them with whatever thing she's got that she thinks is good. You know, desperately trying to get them to watch it. Desperately trying to suck some clout out. And it's just kind of sad, you know? Um, yeah, exactly. But yeah, she's all, and she's always feuding with like, like, listen... The odd feud every now and then is fine, okay? All creators get into these feuds. But she'll go like super like hyper autistic focused on some feud with some nobody for like, you know, literally, literally like ages. And then she'll create a feud out of nothing with a bigger creator for no reason whatsoever, you know? So yeah, I don't know. It just, it's crazy to me. It's just crazy. It's really stupid behavior. And this is a very common pattern that she's got. Um, and the problem is, is she picks fights that she just can't win. And like in the tipster case, picked a fight that she can't win for no reason whatsoever. You know, so stupid. Even though one of your channels is banned, I didn't think that was a thing. But I guess, you know, since you don't cater to the right, you can pretend to be a lefty and still. No worries. If you can't afford well, to, don't worry. escalated quickly, permanently banned from YouTube, all content removed, no explanation provided. I guess it's people here, just any other. So let's see what she says here. The entire ordeal is such a wake-up call. I knew that breaking the true story behind the Highland Park and shoot Park. What do you mean, Parkland shooting or Highland Park oh shooting my God. would be a roller coaster? But I oh my had God. no idea this information would be completely um, append uh, my life in this way. <laughs> I just, I just lost a portion of my livelihood and my passion. You're still on Twitch. What is she talking about? You're still... No, I'm banned on Twitch. I want y'all to know. I, I, I didn't even do nothing this time. I was banned for talking in a chat about... Uh, I was, uh, yeah, I don't need to, need to go into it. I'm, I'm, I'm banned on Twitch right now. It's been this way for a year, maybe a little longer. So she still got Twitch, so she'll be fine. If you are in the Second Amendment or Patriot community and you're ignoring what's happening right now, I don't want to hear your hear you complain about new gun laws. I'm I'm one of the only ones out here trying to provide some sort of answer. <laughs> also, for two things, right? Number one, how much money was she actually making on YouTube? Okay. Because, yeah, if you've got a channel that's making you a thousand, even even like a thousand, two thousand, three thousand dollars a month, right? Yeah, losing that is going to fucking suck, right? Of course it is. But if you've got a channel that isn't making that much money and it gets banned, uh, you know, like you've got to be honest about it. It's a bit weird to be like, oh, my God, it's getting taken away. You know, if it's only taken away like a hundred bucks a month. I don't know. I don't think that that's that big a deal. But here's the other thing as well. If you truly value the money that you're making on YouTube, right, I think it behooves you to be very cautious about the kind of content that you put on and you make sure that you stay abreast of all the terms of service so you don't end up breaking them, okay? Now, based on everything I've heard, when we're going to watch the video on stream after this, I, I, don't want, I can't put it on YouTube, I don't think, because it's been banned from YouTube, I, I believe. But I've got a, a funny suspicion that the video 
is probably it's prob there's probably a reason that it led to these series of events, okay? But we'll we'll watch it, okay? But anyway, the point here is, yes, YouTube can really suck sometimes, Welcome okay? To Chud Nation. But that's why it's so thank you for the sub. That's why it's so important to make sure that you do what you can to stay within the rules. Even then, YouTube will still do, you know, things to mess with you. Like one one thing I noted that I thought was really silly is there was this habit the lefties had of responding to videos of COVID misinformation and putting it up onto YouTube. And then YouTube would like go, oh, COVID misinformation and, and you know, give them a slap on the wrists on their channel or remove the video and they complain about it. And I'm just thinking, well, yeah, like maybe, maybe just be careful about what you respond to because obviously if YouTube are going to have a problem with the original video, right? It's likely, even if you're debunking it, they're probably going to have an issue with your response, you know? So, you know, yeah, sure, it's great to have content out there that, you know, pushes back on whatever COVID misinfo exists. But by the same token, like, yeah, if you're just like a lefty YouTuber, maybe just be a bit aware of like, maybe I don't, you know, I'm not a medical expert myself. So probably best to not, you know, have a video up that is includes you know big portions of covid misinformation i'm important <laughs> hear me youtube meanwhile radio silence from the gun community you are you you're not part of the gun okay listen heidel i'm not saying that that level of censorship is okay what i'm saying to you is you need to be pragmatic about how you manage your channel okay and we know that youtube can make back can be difficult to deal with sometimes right but I just think it's worth bearing in mind that if you value your channel and you value the money that you're making from it, it's probably worth just being careful about the kind of content that you're putting up. And this is something that all YouTubers have to do. All YouTubers have to do this. All YouTubers have to be aware of the TOS. All YouTubers have to, you know, and, and the thing is, if you've got a problem with YouTube TOS, that's fine. You know, do what you can to talk about it and get the issue out there, right? But don't upload you know, content that contravenes the rules and then complain when it gets taken down. That's what I find annoying about people, you know? It's like, you know that YouTube have got this policy that you can't question election results, right? I, in fact, don't like that policy. I think it's a bad policy. That, but that's YouTube's policy. You should try and, you know, do what you can to meet the rules while still being critical elsewhere, you know? It's like, it's, it's like the equivalent of like... It's almost like, you know, if you see a cop and the cop's trying to arrest you incorrectly, you know, or something like that, you take the time to, to you know, deal with it there appropriately. Don't push back. Don't fight. Just get taken in and get dealt with and do it officially, officially through the channels and then take action after. You don't grab the fucking gun off the cop and go, motherfucker, I'm going to get you. Like, this is what it is. It's like just explicitly breaking the rules because you don't like the policy or you think the policy's wrong or something like that, you know. But in any case... I don't think BX Bullet is guilty of this. I think that BX Bullet is probably just an idiot and maybe maybe didn't realize that a video was a breach of terms of service, you know? So, yeah. Fuck the rules of the tech companies, I spit on them. Well, yes, Luddite Hero, I'm sure, you know, it's very nice saying that from a Twitch chat, but when your income is reliant on it, you do have to follow the rules. That's just the way it goes. God, community, listen, Helfa, the thing about it is, is that you just... You wash your hands of the gun community because the gun community, for the most part, are right wing. They are conservatives. And remember, you don't want to be associated with the right. So therefore, what? You and your little own little tiny little left leaning libertarian world deal with it. Get the left to help you since you say you didn't. Uh, uh, what did you say here in this first one here? Hold on a second. Since you didn't pander, that's what she said. I can't pander, you can't even my bound down to the Oh my god, that voice. Well, you didn't pander to the right, what you need to sit up here and get mad at them because they're not coming to your rescue. See, this is the <laughs> thing. If you're going to be part of the gun community, you should have been nice, nicer. And maybe you should have done some pandering because they could have came out uh, for you. But now you're crying. Okay, tell me, I don't want to hear you. I want to hear you. Um... I think, well, BX Bullet is, pro she's not, yeah, she's, she's, she's right wing. I know people try and deny that she is. Like, if you listen to her takes, she's definitely got a right wing slant in her perspectives, you know? Um, the voice is, the voice is too good. I, I disavow, though, obviously. <laughs> YouTube, don't you dare talk about me. Oh, Lord. Is this, uh, this is, um, this is drill music that they have on, uh, 
25,000 views? Oh, that's 10 months ago. That's why. Okay, whatever. Um, No gun. I saw that as well. Though, Maybe about some music gun, video. Those, those goons are trash. Technically. Listen, like, I mean, she's playing into the trope, isn't she? What about these rap music videos? What about the rap music videos that are up, though? <laughs> Those guns are illegal in Chicago and were also used in crime. So how do you know they was used in crimes? What a racist. She by the way, I do believe she is, dude. I'm not I'm not too much. Destiny was mad. Well, he didn't mad, but he got a little irritated. He defended her, saying, everything else I accused her of, you know, I proved. But the only thing I could not prove that she, you know, that she's racist. You know what I'm saying? So he caped for her, and now they don't even like each other. Who was right? I was. Imagine Ooh, being out on Destiny the first out. date hours after your YouTube channel is mysteriously deleted and you've been getting threats on your phone for three days after releasing a vid about your... I feel music. like the dynamic with Destiny and BX Bullet was that Destiny was quite kind to her and like debated her on a number of different topics, you know, and kind of signal boosted like her channel and stuff like that through doing that. I was quite kind in the discussions with her. But then she just kept saying the most insane, unhinged shit you could imagine, you know, like about the vaccine. And then like he got annoyed and was like tweeting about her. And then she took it as an insult that like he was criticizing her for these unhinged takes. And and it's just like, you know, yeah, maybe just try and like not say totally unhinged shit. Maybe that might benefit you. Oh, my God. The horse memes. Oh, my God. That's where the horse memes came from, wasn't it? The ivermectin stuff. The ivermectin stuff. That was what really got the what destiny got destiny heated. Because she kept horsing around on Twitter. Oh yeah, he accused. I, yeah, I, I don't. I want to get this right. He accused. She accused him of some sort of impropriety in DMs, and so his response was to just leak the entirety of the DMs. And I, re I remember I read them and it was funny. There were some really funny moments in there. But reading through it, yeah, it was clear that Destiny hadn't done anything inappropriate at all in the conversation, you know? But yeah. Message shooting. Couldn't be me, though, tonight. Couldn't be me tonight. What is she talking about? Why is she retweeting Biden? Wait. I'm just grumpy. Did she respond to CBX Biden? See, Tree of Logic, this is why you need to do some preparation. Because now you're just reading through a Twitter feed. This is not good content. No. Why did she retweet? Nick. Okay, DM'd many people to help me with this info. But this, but they didn't respond or uh, declined. So I took the risk to release it myself. I knew it was risky because of the small size of my channel and how easily I could be overpowered i wouldn't be able to sleep at night if i did try. imagine getting a dm from bx bullet like yeah there's some secret code that this rapper's leaving behind and it's all to do with mass shootings can you t talk about it please I know. this is this is ooh, this is drama reposting the bx bullet thread because she is flagging me lol most principled free speech twitter user True. i stand by this thread and think that her acting like like i want her arrested is further evidence of psychosis hope she gets the help she did <laughs> hey let me tell you something was wrong with <laughs> Let me tell you the cure to her psychosis. Just a nice stiff eggplant. And I'm not talking about the one that you can buy at the grocery store. I'm talking one to one that's attached to a human being with oh XY my God. chromosomes. What? Who's this? Uh, Nicholas? No. D I, don't, I don't know who this is. What, what is, is she this? doing? Oh, he's a Twitch streamer too. So, okay. Oh, he's a YouTuber and Twitch streamer. Dude, I'm not going to read all this. This looks like drama. Uh, these were released on stream by Bo Blocks, but I don't know if anyone has seen this. It's so now. funny watching Tree of Logic trying to, try to, you know, discern this this drama. She, like, she probably doesn't know who these people are. Side of those people. Oh, okay. I'll look at uh, Bo Blocks. I watch him from time to time. I haven't watched him in a while. Oh, and if you're GD right, I reported this tweet. That's so funny. Those are feds. You are reporting feds to the feds. <laughs> Like, I love this as well, right? I love this as well. No, it's not a fed. It's a fat little loser who streams on YouTube. This is literal cry bully behavior, right? She's crying about getting called mean things by other people. 
Yeah, he or she is calling other people mean things. Like, you reap what you sow. That's exactly what this means. You reap what you sow. You know? And yeah, sometimes people will be mean to you regardless. And that's a different issue. But, you know, you can't complain about people saying mean things about you when you go out into the world and you're saying mean things about other people. That's insane. How is BX <laughs> Bullet any different from a leftoid? How is she any different from a leftoid? Can someone explain to me? Because... I'm seeing a lot of stuff here that I see from leftoids. <laughs> uh, Hunter Avalon. I ain't seen him in a minute. Um, Jose, thank God he had the, uh, this reaction. I couldn't live with myself if I knew a man who spent so much time defending PDF files was on my Jesus. side. Bro. What? Does he really? Hold on. Let's see what he said. Nicholas Diorio. Thank you so much. BX Bullet has been banned from YouTube. Wait, no, are you serious? <laughs> oh man, Do they Listen, not like each other? I'm not a fan of deplatforming, okay? I don't, I, I would never condone this or I would I would never say that you should go like spam report people. That would be a very bad thing to do. But um, of all the things to happen, uh, of any person on the internet to get deplatformed, <clears throat> fuck it. Let it happen to this dumb fucking bimbo. Finally, see you later. Oh my god, Nicholas I'm just Diorio. going in strong. <laughs> Nicholas. Oh! Nicholas Diorio! That's him! Okay. Oh, so the hunter ain't fucking around, Jesus. Ooh. Okay, hold on, hold on, hold on. Okay, I'm putting two to two. I'm putting two plus two together. Okay, <laughs> that's Nicholas Diorio. Oh, that's who that is. Okay. Uh, a 100k Hunter plus off the dog. YouTuber, YouTube channel made videos and tweets about me for days, making false claims. Oh my God, she plays as victim. She does it. She did this with me. As a matter of fact, she does this with everybody. She is a cry bully. Ooh, That's why it's kind of hard no to have way. compassion for her. Was, like no I, said, I don't way. want anyone. Cool well, out. She has money. It's not like she needed YouTube. It's like cool YouTube was not out. her livelihood. But you know, you hate to see people get deplatformed. But boy, she plays that victim up big time. Uh, videos and tweets about me for days making false claims like this causing me to be brigaded by trolls telling me they were reporting me but I'm sure that had nothing to do with my band so she's blaming this guy savior complex where she thinks her little irrelevant channel with videos that usually average about 300 views is going to change the world which by the way I've seen <laughs> so I said the same thing <laughs> oh my I god she really thinks do you, you notice as well there's like yeah a lot of these people don't like her but across political ideology even there's a unity of like the criticisms that get made of bx bullet and so at this point you got to think well you know is the problem everyone else or is maybe the problem bx bullet you know her tweets her videos are just like everybody in there mammy and pappy you're gonna start what they're doing and look at her videos and then all of a sudden change what's going on and if she's talking about shootings like yeah the criminals and the people who are violating the law and violating other human beings rights are really gonna start what they're doing and looking at her video Woo, child I, okay that make me feel good i guess sometimes i think i'm too mean to people but when somebody else is saying what i'm saying you know what i'm saying i'm like what okay Crenshaw, that daggone pirate is trending too. Oh, talking about Alex Stein. Yeah, that was a good one. About 300 views. It's going to change the world. Which, by the way, I've seen some of her videos. A lot of it's conspiracy theory shit. Like, I'm paraphrasing this, but I talked to somebody who was an ex-community of her community. Uh, an ex-member of her community. Man, I can't say words. By the way, that. she used that community to try to mass report. Not try. She actually went to her community in her Discord and told what? them to mass report me on Twitch. What? Because I said Another was... victim. Another victim of BX Bullet. She's unbelievable. This is what she does. She will... You know, the what is it that a hit dog yells or whatever? I do, is that the right thing? I don't know. Anyway... This is a thing. She constantly weaponizes a community against other people, but she hit cries foul and apparently it's everyone doing it to her when she's the one doing it to everyone else. At, when I came after uh, BX, BX was a little chubby. And this is why I said shaming works. And I said she was one either hamburger or cheeseburger away from being a beast. And after I said that, she lost some weight. So, you know, shaming does work, but anyway, Somebody gave me a screenshot of her telling her followers and her Discord to mass report me. 
And then she then she deleted it when we got uh, oh, Steven involved. So she, no she is way. a POS for that, dude. An ex-member of no her community. Way. Man, I can't say words right now. I spoke to someone who was an ex-member of her community. <laughs> what, a okay. what a loser. What a loser. And they were telling me that, like, she... There's this... BBW bullet. Okay, listen. Can we can we stop with these mean comments, please? Spree shooter or a mass shooter who she says left behind coded messages that hint to, like, the uh, impending doom of society. Or I don't remember exactly what it said. It was some crazy off-the-wall shit. Like, that's the kind of shit that this bitch believes in. She's crazy. <laughs> Um, yes, yeah, she is crazy. So shout out to all the disinformation agents in the replies and comments on my videos. Welcome to the channel where we actively fight against accounts like these. Did you know you can easily spot these accounts by their failure to provide yeah, of course. evidence? Say of what you want. Claims they anyway, no, I'm a free speech guy. Okay, so as long as it doesn't break TOS, say what you want. And me in an attempt to suppress our information. <laughs> oh, I was getting into this. Uh, his he follows two people, and maybe one of them is him. Uh, by the way, make sure to report all the all of tipsters fake accounts since he won't do it himself for some weird did she go again report 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 yes report if only we had ways to see i mean to be behind... fair she's saying to report the fake accounts there but the weird thing there is she you know she's suggesting that what tipster just likes the fact that is supportive of the fact there's this fake account or it's him himself it's so stupid there's no evidence for this I can predict already that what she's going to do in that video about mass shootings, she's not going to present any substantive evidence. She's going to do what she just did there and just present an idea and just go, hmm, huh, ooh, hmm. Classic conspiracy shit, you know? I, I can already see what's going to happen. I can already envision it, okay? And fake accounts, if only. Why do you care, girl? That, let me see. Yeah, I was told several people already, and nobody seems to give a crap. Yeah, nobody cares about. Mm. It is disheartening. People really have no idea how bad it is. What? What is she talking about? They know. L let me use her voice. They know. They just don't oh have to watch the real everything, even though what they perceive as everything is actually nothing. Jesus. <laughs> Chud logic is going to be talked to strange in the careful stretch ball infinity this war. Another L for BX bullet. Listen, uh, listen, us girls simps exist. Okay. Yeah, we, we all have uh, simps and simpess, I think. So, dude, this is just a lot. You know what? This is just a lot of, uh, this is just a lot of, uh, of just whining and crying. I leave you with this. I've come to realize that the biggest problem anywhere in the world is that people perception of reality are compulsively filtered through the screening mesh of what they want and do not oh God. Jesus. Okay. Yeah. All right. He oh. never told anyone to false flag you, but you but you would wouldn't you do oh, Here she go again. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. So this was in my chat, obviously, Hunter Evelyn said, I've spoken to his older brother and they filed a police report against BX. This kid's older brother also said BX has been in contact with them. I mean, look. Oh, man. It's difficult because I do trust Hunter. I, I trust that what Hunter's saying is true. But, um, you know, obviously, I've got a, a staunch commitment to only making claims, strong claims that I can definitely substantiate. So, you know. <laughs> but, yeah, I mean, Jesus. Hey, look at that. Callous call out. You're there. B with an absolute banger, too. BX on a pipeline to become a mass shooter herself. <laughs> Jesus. See what I mean? She's. She's still doing it. See, this is. See, when I. I'm starting to have flashbacks. <laughs> <laughs> hey, look, look, there it is again. The mass reporting thing. After suspended from Twitter, after spending all day yesterday being called a dumb bimbo, uh, W H O R E by the community of the rather large drama YouTube named Tipster. I have been banned from Twitter temporarily due to mass reporting. So what you want to do? Remember mass report them? Yes, this was an attempt to oh, stop yeah, the go. obvious mass report already yeah, sure, in I'll progress. It, it says loud. it right there. Oh, another video.
she's got this savior complex where she thinks her little irrelevant channel. And anyway, we watched some of these. I don't know if there's any else. Alex Jones here. out your mouth. Alex Jones here. BX Bullet down there. Are bitching about how the globalists are true scientific already. experiment that is actually backed by Harvard. Like there was, they. <laughs> okay, I, if BX, if I don't know what Trio Logic is talking about here, but rules on the things meant to distract you and i think we've seen most of this now head so. together no sounds like a but but she did get banned so a broken clock is right twice a day so woman who's got her head together sounds like a woman who needs to be admitted to the local mental institution to me <laughs> jesus christ i agree with that one too <laughs> jesus no oh, i disavow i disavow this is escalating quickly in okay okay we already see this one this is this is some good stuff. Oi, Demi Sang. Okay, okay. You know what? This is... Uh, you know what I'm going to have to do? You know what I'm going to do? Because <clears throat> I really, I really, really don't know what the videos are about, what, what she did to piss off YouTube, what she did to piss off this tipster guy. I don't even know the ins and outs of what's going on with BX. Like I said, I don't like her, and I haven't <clears throat> really been paying attention to her actually since i got banned from uh twitch so once i got banned from twitch i just i she ain't been in my radar oh wait I'm what? A right winger she's a left oh damn okay well i guess we can't watch anymore i should be fine in a short video god damn it tree of logic cuck on my content now a short video should be fine okay i do not promote or support tree of logic in any way okay i disavow tree of logic completely Anyway, there we go, guys. So hopefully, because a few people asked me to cover this, um, I've obviously uh, laid out the, the, you know, the meat and potatoes of the situation. Um, I, I think I've covered all main aspects of it. Obviously, as you saw, there are other tweets out there that BX Bullet's been engaging in that I didn't get to. Um, basically, it was largely a lot of cringe, uh, I would say. So, um, yeah, there we go. Now... Obviously, if you're watching on YouTube at this point, we're not going to be able to put this onto YouTube because um, it was against their terms of service. We're going to have a little watch now of BX Bullets video and see what the fuss is about. So let's see.